let us study the another alkaloid under the lecture series of natural products papaverin in this video we learn how the structure of papaverin can be determined let us study papaverin its class is isoquinoline alkaloid the basic ring unit present in papaverin is isoquinoline therefore its class is isoquinoline alkaloid its molecular formula is c20h21no4 occurrence it occurs in the plants opium poppy that is papaver somniferum isolation it is isolated from seeds of papaver somniferum it is discovered in 1848 by george merck properties it is a white solid insoluble in water its melting point is 147 degree celsius the compound is optically inactive then its uses it is a coronary and vasodilator it is used in bypass surgery and in micro surgery as a muscle relaxant then we see the constitution of papaverin that is the structure of papaverin now see the constitution first is molecular formula c20h21no4 then nature of nitrogen atom there is a presence of tertiary nitrogen atom in papaverin then presence of four methoxy groups oxygen atom is in the form of methoxy group and we have to determine the presence of four methoxy groups in papaverin then oxidation reaction of papaverin that reaction is to detect that presence of methylene group that is ch2 group then oxidative degradation studies then decomposition with koh to elucidate the structure of papaverin and the structure of papaverin is confirmed by synthesis that points we have to detect in papaverin first is molecular formula next is presence of tertiary nitrogen atom presence of four methoxy group presence of ch2 group its oxidation oxidative degradation study and then its synthesis let us start to study constitution of papaverin first is determination of molecular formula by qualitative and quantitative analysis and by molecular weight determination the molecular formula of papaverin is c20h21no4 then nature of nitrogen atom we have to prove the tertiary nitrogen atom and for that there is a reaction one molecule of papaverin and it requires one molecule of methyl iodide to form a quaternary ammonium salt when any amine requires one molecule of methyl iodide to form a quaternary ammonium salt that indicates presence of tertiary nitrogen atom in it that is papaverin requires one molecule of methyl iodide and it forms the quaternary salt that indicates nitrogen atom is tertiary in nature then presence of oxygen atoms there are four methoxy groups in papaverin and methoxy group is detected and estimated by gesell's method for that papaverin is heated with hydroiodic acid in presence of red phosphorus it gives four molecules of methyl iodide which indicates presence of four methoxy groups in papaverin the demethylated product is known as papaverolin this is the general reaction for compound containing methoxy group when such compound is treated with hydroiodic acid if one methoxy group is present we get the one molecule of methyl iodide in case of papaverin we get four molecules of methyl iodide therefore papaverin contains four methoxy groups that is the reaction for papaverin 
and that product is known as papa varolin then oxidation reaction to detect presence of methylene group the first reaction papa varolin upon oxidation with cold dilute kemenophore gives secondary alcohol known as papa varinol this is the reaction this is the papa varin and this is the formula by uh, taking considering the ch2 group taking aside that is papa varin when it is oxidized by using cold dilute kemenophore we get the papa varinol and look at that group ch2 group is converted into choh group that is we get the secondary alcohol papa varinol that papa varinol on further oxidation with dilute kemenophore hot dilute kemenophore it gives ketone known as papa varaldein let us see this is papa varinol it is oxidized on further oxidation hot dilute kemenophore that choh group is converted into keto group and the name of the product is papa varaldein then next papa varaldein on further vigorous oxidation with hot kemenophore gives a dicarboxylic acid known as papa varinic acid this acid contains two methoxy group and keto group papa varaldein with hot kemenophore we get the papa varinic acid which is a dicarboxylic acid and all these reactions indicate that papa varin contains the methylene group that is ch2 group let us study oxidative degradation reactions papa varin on oxidation with hot kemenophore gives four products product a b c and d remember the reagent hot concentrated kemenophore and we get the products a b c and d compound a is the mono carboxylic acid and when compound a is treated with soda lime decarboxylation takes place and we get ortho dimethoxy benzene which is known as veretrol and therefore compound a is veretric acid this is the structure of veretric acid and that veretric acid is a mono carboxylic acid which upon decarboxylation gives ortho dimethoxy benzene that is the structure for compound a then compound b is the dicarboxylic acid and dicarboxylic acid when treated with calcium oxide decarboxylation takes place and we get the ortho dimethoxy benzene that is veretrol this dicarboxylic acid when heated with in presence of acetic acid dehydration takes place and the anhydride of that acid is formed and it indicates anhydride formation indicates two carboxylic uh, acid groups must be present at ortho position and therefore there are two possible structures for compound b that is the structure 1 and that is the structure 2 out of that two structures one structure is the correct structure for compound b compound b forms only one monoester which is possible for structure 1 only therefore compound b is the structure 1 in that case it forms the monoester and both monoesters that is if esterification takes place at this carboxylic acid group or at this carboxylic acid group the monoester form is the same compound therefore structure 1 is the correct structure for compound b then compound c is tricarboxylic acid and that tricarboxylic acid upon decarboxylation gives pyridine as the product and formation of that product indicates that it must be 2 3 4 tricarboxylic acid this is the pyridine nucleus and coh groups are present at 2 3 and 4 therefore it is compound c is pyridine 2 3 4 tricarboxylic acid 
that is the structure for compound C. Then compound D. Compound D is the monocarboxylic acid which contains two methoxy groups. When it is heated after decarboxylation, we get dimethyl isoquinoline. And therefore, the structure of compound D must be like this. That is 6A1-dimethoxy isoquinoline 1-carboxylic acid. That is, that is the position number 1. 6 7 dimethoxy isoquinoline that is the structure for compound D and by knowing the all structures compound A, compound B, compound C and compound D we can uh, assign the structure for papaverine and these two fragment structures are assigned for compound uh, these are the two fragment structures are assigned for papaverine by considering these four structures. These are the fragment structures for papaverine. There is the another method by which we can assign the structure for papaverine. The another method is decomposition with KOH. Papaverine on fusion with KOH mainly gives two products, compound E and compound F with some veritric acid. That is the reaction papaverine on fusion or distillation with KOH, we get these two compounds, compound E and compound F. Compound E requires only one molecule of methyl iodide to form a quaternary ammonium salt, which indicates nitrogen atom is tertiary in nature. When compound E is treated with hydroiodic acid in presence of red phosphorus, that is the Giselle's method, it gives two molecules of methyl iodide which indicates presence of two methoxy groups. And if it is demethylated, then upon zinc distillation, it gives isoquinoline. That is, all these reactions indicate that compound E is the dimethoxy isoquinoline. And the position of methoxy groups is established by oxidation reaction. And this is the compound E, 6, 7 dimethoxy isoquinoline. By considering all these reactions, the nitrogen atom is tertiary in nature. It requires only one molecule of methyl iodide to form a quaternary salt. When it is upon Giselle's method, when it is treated with hydroiodic acid, then two molecules of methyl iodide are formed, that is presence of two methoxy groups. And upon zinc distillation, it gives isoquinoline. And therefore, we assign the structure for compound E as the 6,7-dimethoxy isoquinoline. Then compound EF. Compound EF upon oxidation gives veritric acid, which is 3,4-dimethoxy benzoic acid. Compound EF upon demethylation followed by oxidation gives proto-catechoic acid, which is 3,4-dimethoxy benzoic acid. Therefore, compound EF is 3,4-dihydroxytoline. This is the reaction. Compound EF upon oxidation gives 3,4-dimethoxy benzoic acid, which is nothing but veritric acid. And demethylation followed by oxidation, we get proto-catechoic acid. And all these structures shows that that should be the structure for compound EF, which is 3,4-dimethoxytoline. Then structure of papaverine. From oxidation products and uh, KOH distillation products, the proposed structure for papaverine is like this. This is the proposed structures of papaverine. And that structure is then confirmed by synthesis. Before synthesis, we see the oxidation reactions of papaverine. This is the structure of papaverine. Papaverine, upon oxidation with cold dilute KMnO4, we get papaverinol CH2 group is converted into CHOH group. Then, on further oxidation with hot dilute KMnO4, we get papaveraldine. In that case, CHOH group is converted into carbonyl group or keto group. 
then next step papaveraldehyde which contains the carbonyl group on further oxidation with hot KMnO4 we get papaverinic acid in that case these two methoxy groups are converted into COOH group and the name of that acid is papaverinic acid that is the oxidation reaction then oxidative degradation reaction papaverin when treated with hot KMnO4 these four products compound A that is veritric acid, 3,4 dimethoxy benzoic acid, compound B, 3,4 dimethoxy thalic acid, compound C, pyridine, 2,3,4 tricarboxylic acid, and compound D, that is 6,7 dimethoxy isoquinoline 1 carboxylic acid, that is papaverin upon oxidation with hot KMnO4, these four compounds are formed. That is the oxidative degradation reaction of papaverin. Then the synthesis of papaverin. The structure of papaverin is confirmed by synthesis. The synthesis involves two steps. First step, synthesis of homoveretral amine and homoveretral chloride. Veretrol, that is the veretrol, when it is treated with formaldehyde, such product is obtained. There is a CH2Cl group at this position. When it is treated with potassium cyanide, CH2Cl converts into CH2Cn. Then it is treated first with hydrogen. In case of rainy nickel, we get such a reduction product, homoveretral amine and when it is treated with HCl in phosphorus pentoxide, we get homoveritral chloride. That is the structure of homoveritral chloride. And that is the first step of the synthesis. In second step, condensation of these two products, that is homoveritral amine and homoveritral chloride. That is a homoveritral amine plus homoveritral chloride upon simple heating we get the such type of product and upon condensation followed by enolization we get the uh, this product and which upon reduction we get the papaverin as the final product and this is the synthesis of papaverin by which the structure of papaverin is confirmed Thanks, best wishes and keep learning for further study. Thank you very much.